Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Jen. I make candle videos, food videos, and soon to be workout videos. Today I'll be making ombre candles. So I've been seeing it all over Instagram and YouTube videos, and I thought, you know, it looks like a lot of fun. Let's try and make it. If you haven't seen my other bubble candle video, it's pretty much um, me showing you how I make my bubble candles, both a large and a mini candle. So it's pretty much the same step. I'll just have a link above this video. Click on it if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I'll go through it anyway in this video. Just a disclaimer, I do make candle videos, but I'm still a beginner, I'm still learning, and this is just me recording my process and what I do. I'm not a professional, so yeah, I'll try and help you as much as I can. How you make these beautiful ombre candles is pretty much making your bubble candle so you just want to grab your wax so for the large candle i was doing 140 to 150 um i do like to have a little extra just in case add the amount of fragrance oil that you want add the fragrance oil in from there you just want to add the dye so we want to start off with a really light color because the base of our bubble candle mold is actually the top once you're happy with the amount, so the way you can check is that you can just grab a little bit um, with your mixing um, stick or whatever you're using. Put it on baking paper or something or on the table and then let it dry. So I learned from my first one. That's how I should be checking my colour. Once you're happy with the colour, pour it in and then let it set. So with my mold, I'm using Carousel Pillow Wax. So it literally just took like 10 minutes to set. Give it a little wiggle and if it doesn't move, it should be fine to pour the next layer. If you go back to your mixing jug, you'll see that your wax is all set as well as your mold. So from here, I'll turn back the heat on, melt it a bit, and then I'll add my dye in again. I'll repeat the process, check the color, let it dry. If I'm happy with that color, I'll pour it in. How cute is this? That is actually such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one was the first one I pulled. So that's why this is a bit uneven. So I'm still like getting familiar with it. How cute are they? So the reason why I left a little bit so I could do this. Oh my goodness. 